Hi, this is Congressman Glenn Grothman, and I'd like to thank everyone for tuning in to this 40th Congressional Art Competition, where the great artists from the high schools all over the 6th Congressional District submit their artwork to see who is chosen to have their piece of art exhibited in the Capitol Tunnel between the U.S. Capitol and the House Office buildings. We have great selections this year and made it very difficult to choose a winner. For the second year in a row, we're doing this virtually um, due to the COVID. We hope next year for the, for the 41st, we're able to do this again live and in person. I'd like to thank the Thelma Sadoff Art Museum here in Fond du Lac for showing these pieces of artwork, as well as thank um, Shannon Kupfer, the curator here, for picking our winning selections. Now I'd like to show on uh, show the winners. First of all, I'd show the second runner-up, and the second runner-up will be um, exhibited in my office here in Fond du Lac for the next year. Or so, and this number two runner-up has been submitted by Haley Thony from Lodi High School. Here it is. It's called Beyond the Light, uh, a unique picture. Uh, certainly shows a lot of character here, and uh, going to be proud to proud to uh, exhibit that here in Fond du Lac. The number one runner-up, Gabe Coopery from Central Wisconsin High School. Here, a nice outdoor scene. Uh, one of my favorites. I always love outdoors things, and I'll look forward to looking at that for the next year in my Washington office. And finally, the winning selection today, submitted by Emily Swanson from Keele High School. Here we have called Enigma. Uh, you can look at that. A lot of different a lot of different ways. See the shapes back here. Uh, see a little writing up here. Um, and that's something that I'm sure all the congressmen will have a chance to look at together with the other 434 pieces of artwork that we're going to be submitting in the tunnel. So I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in, seeing all the different pieces of artwork that we have, uh, and look forward to seeing you folks next year when next year we do it live and in, in person. So thank you for tuning in.